very special guest in the studio. The Spinners want to take a couple of calls here. And hey, how you doing? Say hello to the Spinners. Hello, Spinners. How are you? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Fine. That's good. What's your name? Carol. Hi, Carol. I'm Henry. I'm Jesse. And you got Marvin Taylor. He's not here. And Bobby Smith is not here. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I, like, I like that deep voice one that was on there a minute ago. Uh, so he's, say hey, he's uh, still here. You're, so, you're such a... What's your name again, lady? Carol. Carol, thank you so much. You're so sweet. And you have good taste in voices, too. <laughs> what, what, was your, <laughs> what was your question, sweetheart? Or did you have a question for the spinners? Yeah, I wanted to know if you'd play Sadie. If we would play Sadie. Oh, a- absolutely. That's coming up. Yep. Okay. All right, thanks. And where are you guys going to be playing that in, in Detroit here? Uh, the closest thing we're going to be, uh, we'll be in Flint, Michigan on the... August 17th. August 17th. Man, that's... You ain't got nothing coming up in Detroit? <laughs> not, 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 uh, not, not, a, not right now, but you can't never tell when something might come in. Yeah, we were just here earlier okay. in the year. We were at the Masonic Temple, and uh, oh. yeah, that was in February. So we were just here, but uh, we're hoping to get something scheduled for, for the Motor City for our hometown very, very soon. Okay. All right, thank you yeah, so much for calling. Talking to all of you, and all you have a nice weekend, and God bless all of you. Thank all you right. very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Are right, you on the radio with the spinners. Who's this? Hi, this is Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary. I, you know what? I enjoyed them for years and years, but I wonder if you had considered Bobby Womack some and uh, Rita Franklin together. I know y'all had one oh, in of them women singing. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. do that. Okay, that'd but, be great. You know, Facts of Life is uh, the jam if you get around to a Bobby Womack or Harry Hippie. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. Thanks for calling. Thanks. That's yeah. Okay, they want to give me battle suggestions. I want to play yeah. more spinners here. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk a little bit. That's right, Henry. <laughs> let's talk a little bit about this, uh, the, the Mighty Love album. Mm-hmm. And, and, of course, uh, Felipe Wynn wanting to leave the group. But at first, he wanted you guys to change the name. How you find that out? You did a little research. But, uh, well, you know... Um, there was a time when. Uh, How'd you feel about that? I mean, here's a guy who. Well, says, you know, when, when you when you put all when you put your business together, and we had been together since '54, mm-hmm. and uh, you got a guy to come in in the '70s, right? in the '70s, mm-hmm. and he had been in the group maybe what three or four years at, at the most, mm-hmm. and just because we got hit records and he wants to. Um, with him doing the lead vocals, some of them, some. But, but some. Bobby That's was true. the was the major lead singer, right? And so when he made that suggestion, we just got up and walked. And left in there by itself. Wow. Like another group mm. I know. Mm. Yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he, called, he called a meeting in, in, uh, in, our, in our, our manager's office mm-hmm. in New York. And uh, when he made the suggestion, we said, oh, okay. And okay. we just politely got him left. Wow. So for a minute, I understand that he kind of regretted doing that. Um, we had a reunion tour after he left. Mm-hmm. Uh, about two to three years after he left, and uh, we did about five dates together. Mm-hmm. And uh, sitting in the dressing room, he um, made a statement. He said, "Man, I found out one thing." And we said, "What's that, Phil?" He said, "I found out that the name Felipe Wynn didn't mean anything, but he didn't use those type words." <laughs> 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 Henry Farnbro, Jesse Peck, and Charlton Washington. And I'm going to just talk to you guys about uh, your audition. And Henry, what were you looking for in, in uh, getting uh, these new members into the group? Good question. Well, um, my first thing in, in, in selecting uh, new members for the spinners was character. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can always find somebody that can out someone else. Uh, it's just like that old saying... I don't care what you can do, you can find somebody to do it better. Okay. But I was looking for character, somebody that 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 could be a friend, and somebody that that gonna get along, and somebody that could sing. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was the thing that 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 um that I was looking for, that me and Bobby was looking for. And we didn't want no dopers. Right. We didn't want no drinkers. We didn't want nobody with attitudes. We didn't want nobody that uh, thought they were better than anybody else, you know. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we got a, a great bunch of guys, man. Oh, great bunch of guys. I wouldn't. I, I couldn't have did. We couldn't have done any better. Wow. 
when you're doing any bit of. Well, what and, made uh, you decide to carry on with, with the group after uh, I got credit members? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> number one answer. <laughs> number one answer. <laughs> Creditors, the money. <laughs> no, no, really though. No. <laughs> hey, what, what, <laughs> Besides that. No, besides that. But what, what am I going to do? Yeah, it's true. What am I going to do? Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, people ask me if you're going to retire. I said, just sit down and do nothing. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be out there singing and doing what I want to do, you know? That's right. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to retire, no. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. So what was it like for you guys auditioning for the group? Uh, the audition itself was... Uh, it, it was Jesse the, Peck, of course, who took the place of uh, Purvis Jackson. Hi, I'm Jesse Peck. <laughs> <laughs> and I always have, when people say took the place of Purvis Jackson, I always have the credit. You could never... I didn't meet Purvis, and I'm so jealous of all those who knew him personally. But I know enough to know you could never replace that man. But I'm honored to be able to carry the torch and, and picked up where Purvis left off. That man was a bad brother. Mm -hmm. He really was. Uh, the audition for me it was long. Um, I, I stayed up late every night, uh, my buddy Henry Williams and I, going over routines and whatnot, trying to prepare for it. Uh, finally did the audition, and after that, it was like, okay, I'm going back to work every day, you know, back at the factory at Ford and at my, in the Milan plant, you know, saying, what am I doing here? The first month, I was still hopeful, still excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried not to call Henry too much. Hey, you found out yet? Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> no, but you call me one more time, it won't be you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the second month, the second month, I remember just being really, really depressed and real, real, I, 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 real misty about it, just real sad. And in the third month, it, it hit me. Wait a minute, you know, these are gifts that are God given. This is a situation. Uh, that that God had to put you in. How are you going to get to audition for the the first group you ever saw perform when you were young? First concert I ever saw was a Spinner concert. This is meant to be. The abilities I have, the way this opportunity came about, this is to be. So in the third month, I just started praising and I was just happy and claimed it. This Amen. is going to happen. Once I did that, that's when I lost my job. You know, <laughs> the devil said, "Okay, since you want to be confident, you know, and, and, and you know, and, and have hope and whatnot." So once that happened, I said, "I'm not going to trip." Now it's set for a miracle. And I'll never forget that day that Henry Fambro called me and said to me, congratulations, Jesse, you are a member of the Spinners. I just, I was professional with him. Okay, thank you, sir. You know, and got off the phone with him and just fell out. Just, wow. just said hallelujah about a hundred times, you know. Did you cry, Jesse? Um, <laughs> tell, no. the, tell the ladies if you cried. Well, you know, I... <laughs> <laughs> Every man from time to time. Has a I'm not saying that for the record. Yeah. You're not saying that for the record. We're going to write a record. Like a that. man don't really cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Charlton Washington. It was really uh, strange how I got in the group. Uh, I had a great friend. Uh, his name is Greg Grace, and he had uh, interest in being a spinner himself. And uh, being from Detroit, uh, the spinners are originally from this area. Uh, one of uh, Bobby Smith's daughters was a fan of ours, and we had a group here in Detroit, and we would perform around Detroit. And, and what was that group called? Uh, 5.0. Okay. 5.0. 5 .0. All right. Yeah, and uh, we performed around Detroit, and we were pretty good, and they were big fans. And when when the position became available, uh, I happened to fly down to uh, Bobby uh, Smith's house and audition. And I didn't know what uh, spot I would get, but I was real hopeful. And, it, you know, to make a long story short, it took about eight months after that. And the lead, uh, primary lead spot became available, which was really great for me because I've always been a, a lead singer, you know, in my uh, so singing what, career. Charlton, which part, what, what part is that that you uh, sing I, I, uh, I actually, uh, it's really fascinating because I actually cover for uh, Felipe Wynn. Oh, okay. Oh, John wow. Edwards. Wow. And G.C. Cameron. And he, and he did a great job. And thank you very much, job. Jesse. Thank beautiful you very job. much. So, if uh, we asked you to just to, just to sing a little bit of uh, "Love Don't Love Nobody," <laughs> you do a hell of a job. Would, would I, I put you? That. Huh? Does he? He does a hell of a job. Can I just hear a little bit? I mean, because I, I haven't had a chance to hear you guys, you know, live. <laughs> If I put you on the spot, I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot of you. Oh, he'll do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll put you on. <laughs> Tell him, Henry. Tell I know you do because he loves singing. I mean, those he, are he big loves shoes singing. He like. loves singing. Um, <laughs> Mike, stand up. Mike, you might make you feel better. <laughs> well, you know what? If you want, we can play the commercials first and come back. You want to prepare yeah, yourself? Yeah, you wanna, yeah, yeah. Let's get him some hot tea. Yeah, give, <laughs> me a little lemon. Let me get, give me a few tea bags. Yeah, we'll get you <laughs> tea bags, some lemon, honey. We got you. So we're going to play... Felipe Wynn's version. Right. Mm. 
Okay, yeah, that'd be that great. Heat is on. <laughs> that would be absolutely great. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be great. Let them hear, let them hear it. Let, right. let them hear it. Maybe Mighty great. Love album. It takes a fool to learn that love, love don't love nobody. nobody. That's right. It really doesn't. That's right. And just think That's about right. that. It really doesn't. And we'll hear Charlton, Washington in just a minute. Our very special guest in the spinners. If you'd like to say hello, if you got a question, give us a call. 298-7923-TOLL-FREE-1. 866-SO-JAM. I'm just loving this, man. I get a chance to play all my favorite spinners, yeah. jams. Like, it's bringing back a lot just, of memories. I'm telling you, I, I can just get stuck on this Mighty mm-hmm. Love album. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just phenomenal hits there on this Mighty Love album, man. I mean, this is one of those albums, man, from my high school days that we just used to just play over and over and over again. I think everybody had their favorite song off this Mighty Love album. Mm -hmm. It takes a fool to learn that love don't love love nobody. nobody. Wow. And we're going to hear Charlton sing that in just a minute. Yeah. (laughs) But tell me a little bit about... uh, what it was like working with Linda uh, Creed. We talked about uh, you working with Tom Bell, yeah. and of course they were partners. What was special about well, uh, when you work with Tom? Ability? Yeah, when, when you work with Tom, you work with Linda. Yeah, and they was like uh, one, two, you know. Yeah, and uh, Linda, she wrote most of the ballads, you know, most of the slow songs, uh, everything that I did on the spinners with the spinners, uh, she did. She's the one that wrote uh, wrote the songs, and she was a great, a great lyricist. And uh, a great friend, mm-hmm. and she was she was just a, uh, a phenomenal uh, a human being uh, when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was like Tom, right hand lady. Okay, I should say man, but lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but uh, they worked together like like peas in a pot. You know? Yeah. And uh, everything came together with them. And uh, she just she was just. Fantastic lady. She, uh, we lost her, you know, to, to uh, breast cancer, mm-hmm. and uh, that 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 set set everybody back, you know, because we we love her, man, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was a great, great lady, and, yep. and we, we we miss her, you know. All right, I gotta play a couple of more songs from the Mighty Love album before you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> we're going to hear from Charlton. Charlton, you ready over there, man? I'm you, ready. I'm okay, ready. Okay, let me just wait a minute. We're going to go into a break, and then we're going to hear Charlton, who took Felipe Wynn's place, and you know, in the, on the vocals. And uh, you're going to do uh, Love Don't Love Nobody? Yeah, I'll do a little Okay, whatever up. you want to do, man, it's cool. I don't want to put you on the spot, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the audience is waiting on it now. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Our special guests in the studio, Spinners, you guys have been here for a while. I appreciate it, man. I, I know I'm, I'm keeping you here because there's just so many songs that I want to play. We're getting so many calls. People just want to say hello. Let's go to the phone. And hey, how you doing? How are you? Good. Say hello to well, the Spinners. Hello, Spinners. How Hi, are you? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? What's your name again? Sandy. Hi, how are you? Hello, Sandy. I'm fine. All I'm right. fine. Look, very quickly, I have a real brief story. I remember when I was living in Herman Gardens and I was 12 years old, Bobby Smith. lived in the building across from me on Abington. Right. And we used to see him and a bunch of other guys coming and going all the time. We thought they were his brothers. It was we us. We did not know. <laughs> and I swear to God, God is my witness. When It's a Shame came out, they were gone. The family was gone. I mean, it was like <laughs> two weeks later after the Butterball was pushing that song. Right. And, and I remember that they, they were very nice. I think he had a son, Marcus, I believe. Marcus, And yeah. a very, uh, yeah, uh, and a little girl. And it, they were just the nicest people. But when that song came out, they're like, we're out of here. We got a hit. They we're out of here. <laughs> they were gone. I'm serious. And I remember we gave them the whole four buildings that kind of surrounded his place on Abington. Right. We all had a party, and, and, you know, we were happy for them that they had made it. But I guess the point is, is that we were just so happy to see someone 
make it like he did. Who knew that they were going to even get bigger than we could have possibly even imagined? Wow. But, you know, I mean, it was just a great feeling to know somebody famous like that when you were 12 years old. And it was just a memory. And it was no such thing as hating men. We were, you know, it, yeah, it was groups all too. over Detroit. There mm -hmm. were groups all over Herman Gardens. Right. But when you made it, it was a, 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 a joyous occasion. It really was. That's a wonderful story. That's a Thank wonderful you. story. Thank you both so much for calling in. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if you guys remember that, that he lived on uh, Abington and Herman Gardens. Oh, yeah, we were, we used to rehearse over there, you know? Yep, yep, we used to hear So the guys that you in. saw going in and out of the house was us. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, we, uh, God, we thought you were his brothers, you know? And we, and we kept wondering, how come they come over every day? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for calling. Appreciate you're you. You're welcome. Happy summer, Gerald. All right, and thank Lady you. T and Andre. All right, Great. thank you. All right. Hi, you're on the radio with the Spender. You got a question? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I wanted to yell at him because I know Purvis. I was at his water in the hole tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody from the locker room. The locker room. Yeah, yeah the locker room. The locker room. Yes. Right, the locker room. That was we call that his his his, his, uh, his, his office. office. Yeah. <laughs> his office. Anytime we want to get purpose, you call his office. Oh, uh, he still has a seat. The there. locker room. I just left there. All yeah. right. All right. I said, "Wow!" And I was coming down. I said, "They talking to the spirit." I said, "That's my group." That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 I, hey, I always followed y'all. When y'all was in Atlanta, I was there with y'all in Atlanta. Okay. And y'all was coming around throughout Detroit. I was in Detroit. And then the locker room showed out when y'all was at the Fox Theater. Right. Oh, man, I was with y'all all the way through, man. And in fact, I used to take Purvis home when he had one too many Hennessy. Wow. And, and that's wrong with that. Thank you so much. Y'all y'all, killing us. Y'all pushing the mighty love. But what happened to Love Me or Leave? That was a jam. The whole oh, yeah. album. I wish I could just play the whole album. But I'm going to play another cut in just a minute. But thanks for calling, okay? All right. Hey, MLD from the West Side. Shout out with the spinners. All, all right. right. Right on. Thanks for being a Spinners fan. All right, and then Charlton, so you, you studied Felipe Wynn's parts. And is that something, Henry, that you told him to do? Look, I need you to <laughs> go back and get all the Spinners albums and, and listen listen to what Felipe did here. Did you? No, we, we told Charlton to sing how he felt. Okay. And we didn't want him to replace Felipe. We want him to beat Charlton Washington. And how did that turn out? Let's hear. Very good. Turned out well. Very good. Turned out very good. <laughs> can, I, can I hear a little bit of that now? I never learned to give myself. I've been a fool, but right now I need someone else. Well, well, just like Boy Blue, I, I blow my horn at you. Just leave me on, baby. I should have known that it takes a fool to learn that love don't love nobody. It takes a fool to learn that love don't love no one. It takes a fool. Sometimes we to gotta learn. suffer. That love make your bed hard. You gotta sleep nobody. there. Yeah, well, it takes a fool. Oh yes, he does. That love don't love no one. No one. Charlton Washington. Charlton Washington. That was fabulous, man. This is Charlton Washington. <laughs> For Marvin Taylor. This is Charlton Washington. Uh, all right. Let me just let me get back, man. That was fabulous, man. Very good. Great. Very good, Charlton. Well, you guys, we gotta we gotta put something together so we can see you in Detroit. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. That would be great. You know what? You really need to make that happen, Gerald. We love to come back home. We travel all over the world. We see wonderful places, meet beautiful people, but there's nothing like coming home to the Motor yeah, City. Right.